What's going on guys? Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today I'm going to be showing you this software that comes with Elgato's Game Capture HD60 device. This software is downloaded from the Elgato website. I believe it's pretty much the same across all of their capture devices. So what these devices do is they allow you to capture video and record it as well as stream it um, from a device. Now these devices are typically used with consoles say like a Wii U, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, but you can also use them with a Steam machine and pretty much any device that has HDMI out. So I actually have this connected to my main PC um, and I have Payday here in the background just showing you that you know we are actually viewing the screen. This actually shows you in real time the screen that you're viewing and as you can see if I don't move the mouse it full screens it which is actually kind of nice. So the way this works is again you connect it to your device uh, or from your device via HDMI and then you can record and do things like that and it shows you of course we do have this real-time view here and I'm gonna be going over the software in general um, not going not diving super deep in but just going over the software in general to kind of show you what you can do this is sort of like an overview of the software because I believe the software is very powerful I was actually quite impressed and it's actually extremely easy to use here so that's another good thing so um, the first thing that we do here we have our main screen here um, that does show what we're you know recording from from our PC and we have our uh, capture device which we have selected here and you can go into the settings here and um, our input device it is set as Xbox one you really don't have to change these um, for the different consoles they have different uh, settings for the input device but this is coming out of a PC and I have Xbox one sele selected and it's fine uh, the only thing I do have changed is I have analog audio input so I'm not taking the the uh, audio from the HDMI I'm actually taking audio from my sound card so if you're doing a PC type streaming or PC recording you might want to change that you can obviously change the color range and then you can uh, set your profile so you can do like a mobile profile standard HD 720 or HD 1080 we're uh, we're set at uh, 1080 and you can change the quality here and everything like that and set it to allow 60 frames a second under picture, you can obviously change brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. Audio, you can set your audio gain. You can save profiles, load profiles for maybe different devices that you have. If you have two consoles and you want a profile for your Wii U and you want a profile for your Xbox One, you can do that. And then other in advance, you can set your TV compatibility. Some TVs might have issues with this device, so this kind of helps you out with that. So we can get out of there and then we have our live streaming and this is actually cool so you can actually live stream as you're recording which is nice for a lot of people who may not uh, have you know may not be used to maybe something like open source open source broadcaster and this just allows them to stream right to the web and I believe you can stream right to twitch YouTube you stream daily motion and you can actually set your own uh, RTMP so if you had a service that isn't listed here you can actually put in all the information and run it so if you're say something like instagive.tv you can actually stream to that service and I actually really like that service if anybody out there wants to check it out uh, free service just like twitch uh, really nice service you can use to stream um, and you can obviously set your title and things like that uh, as you know the different if you select, select a different account you there will be different settings to do that now for our game audio here, so this is the audio that's coming from our game. And right now I actually have the audio playback muted so it doesn't overpower my voice right now, but uh, we can unmute it here. And as you can see, you can actually hear it uh, just a little bit there in the background. Uh, hopefully you can hear it. Um, so you do have that. Uh, so you can set that and one another thing that's cool is we have our live commentary here so as you're playing or as you're recording you can commentate on it live and I actually did this in a BIOS overview video um, which I'll link that I did a live commentary you know you connect a microphone to the PC that you're using to record and you can actually you know either it's your gameplay or whatever it may be you can uh, set it to record that as well so you can record your commentary here and you can turn that on or off um, which is really nice because a lot of times you know you might be shooting a video or shooting something that you want to talk about and you actually have the ability to do that and you can obviously go in here and set your thresholds and everything like that um, and you can set it to to go to mono if you want so it's kind of nice I really like that feature um, just because it allows you to if your device that you're using 
doesn't have an audio source uh, that you can be recording, you can do live commentary. Um, just like I, as I said, I did that BIOS video where when I'm in a computer BIOS, I don't have an audio source that I can record. This allows me to do that and I don't have to do it in post either. I can record right on the spot as I'm going through, which is nice. Um, down here, this is your tags and all your information for your videos. So if I was going to record right now, my video title would be my great game capture, the game I'm playing. You can put a description and tags, and this will all be added into the file uh, itself. So you can set that all up yourself, and I believe, uh, yeah, it's just the same thing right there. Now as we go over to the main screen, as I said here, this uh, will show you in real time uh, what you're recording. So again, we have Payday here running and we can see it in real time and all of that. And then we can set up different scenes. This is the main scene that just shows what you're recording. You can do other stuff. Um, you know, you can have different things put in here. Maybe you can create, you can, and the thing is, it's nice is that you can create your own scene. You can set it up to, um, you know, you can see the Elgato gaming logos that you can put in there and things like that. Um, what's nice is that you can create one with maybe your own logo. So if you are streaming, people can see that, or if you are recording, people can see your logo in there. So that's another nice piece about this software that you have the ability to change your different scenes and things like that. Obviously on the bottom here, uh, we have our record setting and all of that. You can take a live screenshot if you want. Um, obviously we muted the sound, we can turn it off or on, and this is our time, and it lets you know how much time is running right now. Um, that gives you the ability to do that. It lets us know how much free space you have on what you're recording, your recording device, and I believe this just goes, this disables the preview. Um, so if you have a system that's kind of slower, or if you're recording from a laptop, disabling the preview will actually help you out a little bit because it doesn't take the processing power, so you can do that. And that is basically it. Um, it is really great software. It works really well. Um, we will be posting a video showing you some of the games that we recorded using this device. Obviously, like I said, I did that BIOS overview video using this device because it just makes it really easy to do. Um, so yeah, just really great. If you have any questions about Elgato's Game Capture HD software, which this is, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out. Um, I'm using this software for about three weeks now, so I really like it. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, catch you guys later. Thank you.